everybody welcome back if you're new here hi my name is amy i'm an independent scentsy consultant with happily scented homes and i post videos regularly on my youtube channel or on my facebook vip group if you want to join my facebook vip group um, all you gotta do is just search for scentsy with amy a-i-m-e-e -E, um, and it should pop up if you want a direct link, I can certainly send you one. Just comment or message me below. Um, but I wanted to do a quick video because I've been seeing a lot of different YouTubers uh, and consultants alike posting their like fall favorites or showing people what's in their fall stash. And I believe Elizabeth from Elizabeth Scenes and Scents, she just had posted today or maybe it was yesterday, um, her fall top 50 fall faves and I really enjoyed watching her video on that um I don't have 50 <laughs> um personally I just don't have that much fall wax or that much wax in general to do like a top 50 um but I do have a top 25 so I figured I would do my own spin on it and share with you guys so it's really not me saying oh my gosh this is all I have for fall bars no, this is just what I consider top 25 Scentsy fall fragrances that I love warming during the fall season. And this is pretty much like the end of August all the way up until Halloween. So I'll go right into it. And I do have scent descriptions for everything. So that way we can go over it. Um, some of these you've probably heard other consultants, you know, talk about. And probably there's some in here that you guys have never even heard of. Um, so... And this is in no particular order, so this isn't like ranked from like 1 to 25. This is just top 25. Um, so we do have Autumn Hearth. Some of these I don't have a physical um, wax bar, um, either just because my fall club, which is my hat club, my security club, um, that hasn't processed yet. And it hasn't processed like in six months, so I really don't have too many of the bars that are in that club in my personal stash, um, but I still have testers from when they were available, um, so I will go ahead and smell those. So Autumn Hearth is described as a cue up a classic. Apple, cinnamon, and tonka are all about fall. So to me, this is like a classic scentsy fall fragrance. It's definitely earthy, um, so it is more saturated, it is more sultry, it's more earthy, it's very heavy on the spice, very heavy on the spice. And it's heavy on the apple notes as well, but it's more of like a cooked apple, but not a bakery cooked apple. Um, this is like a apple that's being crushed under the leaves, underneath the apple trees while you're walking through the forest, that type of smell. This one's really good. It's hella strong. Um, so. A couple cubes will go a long way for you with Artem Hearth. And honestly, it's been in the catalog so long, I'm actually kind of worried about this one getting the axe. Um, I think it might be back for next catalog. Um, but sometimes with these classic scents, since he's just like, I don't give a crap. Like, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it and I don't care. So I'm kind of scared for that one, but high hopes it will come back. Um, another one is Autumn Sunset. Autumn Sunset for me is like the perfect potpourri smell for fall. I do have a certain potpourri scent for winter. Um, so I usually will, if I'm craving like a potpourri cinnamon scent in the fall time, I usually will gravitate, gravitate towards Autumn Sunset. Um, but if it's more close to the winter time, like after Christmas or during Christmas, um, cinnamon pine cones, which was a scent of the month last year. Oh, that one's amazing. But for fall, autumn sunset is like my fall potpourri, Michael's, Joanne Crafts. This is so good. And this one is another powerhouse. One or two cubes. It will literally fill your whole home. It lasts for days. I love this one. Um, this one is another basic classic Scentsy. Apples, pumpkins, fall leaves, and spices. A top 10 fragrance. So Autumn Hearth and Autumn Sunset have been in the catalog as, I think, as long as I've known Scentsy or been a consultant. So 
those are just classics to me. I always warm them every fall, even before I was a consultant, every time there was um, a new fall catalog changeover, I'd always host a party and then get those wax bars, you know, for my um, scent rewards. So another good one that I always warm in the fall is salted caramel toffee. This one is a, this one you can't go wrong with. Um, so if you're not really typically a bakery person, um, you can't go wrong with salted caramel toffee because it's not heavy, heavy on like bakery and like coily sweet. Um, it's just really good. It's like, it's literally like those, um, not Werther's, what is it? The craft, the craft, like chewy caramels. You know how they sell those like during the fall time? Those, that's what this smells like. It's so good. I love this one. Um, this one is the sweet scent of salsa caramel takes melted toffee and butterscotch to new levels of indulgence. So not only do you have ca uh, caramel, you have toffee and you have butterscotch. So it's got those three sickly sweet, like candy, confectionery, fall scents, and it's all rolled in one. And this one is, it's not a powerhouse, but it is a strong scent. Um, I remember I had this warming in like my hallway last fall. And in my hallway, I have like a little cubby system for my kids where they hang up their coats and their backpacks and things like that. And I had salted caramel toffee going and my son's ed technician had messaged me throughout the day and she said, what are you warming at your house right now? Because your son literally smells like a caramel apple. So it lingered on his clothes enough to carry into school for his ed tech to smell it. So if that tells you how strong this thing is and it's good, I really like salted caramel toffee. I always club it. You can't go wrong with it. Um, another one that, again, I've talked about this scent quite a few times on like my empties videos and things like that. Um, this is a scent that either you love it or you hate it. It was a scent of the month and then it was, popular enough, I guess, where they brought it to main catalog last fall. Um, will it return? Probably not because of the hate factor that this scent gets. Um, but I mean, fingers crossed, maybe it will come back, but fairy tale pumpkin and this one, this tester is getting pretty juicy. I mean, look, Oh, I love this scent. You guys, this is like the epitome of like black licorice. Oh, it's so good. Um, fairy tale pumpkin. It is in the fruity category, which I'm kind of surprised about. I would have like put it in spice, you know, my opinion, but, um, it's harvest pumpkin, midnight black raspberry, and a whisper of black licorice. So I definitely get the black licorice. That is a very prominent note. Pumpkin. I can't smell it on cold. Can't smell it when it's warming. I literally just get black raspberry licorice. And it is amazing. I know some people say they smell popcorn, like buttered popcorn when this is going. Um, I think other people have gotten grape. I get black raspberry licorice and it's awesome. I always warm it. I warm it all the time. Like I love this scent so much that I literally warm it all year round. Um, but this, I could definitely see someone warming all October long for Halloween. So that's another one I can't be without of. Um, Scarlet Sunflower. This one I actually fell in, not in love with, but in like with, I would say. Um, this past year, my mother really loves the, this scent and she usually clubs it. Um, this is a floral, I believe. No, 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 it's not a floral. It is a fruity one. Sorry, it's a fruity. You'd think it would be floral with Scarlet Sunflower. This one is really fresh and clean and like I said, sort of floral, but not like heavy perfumey or musky or anything like that. It's just kind of got like that body care like vibe to it. Um, but Scarlet Sunflower is Juicy Apple, Red Cranberry, and Scarlet Flower. So this one's really nice because I do like the freshness and the cleanness that this bar um, provides. So it's kind of like a great fall scent on like those warm fall days where you really don't want to warm something heavy, but you want to warm something light. Scarlet Sunflower is a really good um, option for that. 
and sneak peek or spoiler alert scarlet sunflower i do know is coming to the fall and winter catalog in the cleaning line so this is a new scent to the cleaning line so i can understand why they would pick this scent for the cleaning line because it does have that freshness and refreshing aspect like i said um so i'm actually really intrigued and i'm hoping that i can uh, save up enough where I can get the cleaning bundle um, when it comes out because it will probably be in, it's going to be in all of the the product line for the cleaning products so all purpose cleaner bathroom cleaner and counter clean but spoiler alert scarlet sunflower will be in the cleaning line in about a month or so so definitely check that out but scarlet sunflower I will see myself warming this this coming fall and winter <laughs> All right, Huckleberry Hideaway. This tester is gone. I've already warmed it, as you can see, um, but it still smells. Um, this was a new release last fall in Winter Catalog, and I don't ever hear many... Whoops, I'm dropping testers. I don't ever hear many um, consultants talk about this fragrance, and I don't know why, because it's so good. Um, this one is in the woodsy category. Um, like I said, it was a new release um, last fall and winter. It's fresh picked huckleberry, mountain violet, and crisp white woods. It's so good, you guys. It's so good. It is just a sweet woodsy scent. The honeysuckle and the violet just give like this playful sweetness to it and then the huckleberry is there so it doesn't make it like super super fruity it makes it a little bit fruity it it's so good i wish more people would talk about this scent. i'm hoping that it comes back but i did club it just to be on the safe side um so if it doesn't come back then i won't be heartbroken but i literally will i will warm this all the time this fall as long as i have a bar i'm going to be warming that one Another one is Autumn Road Trip. Um, this is very similar to Scarlet Sunflower in the aspect that it has like a refreshing clean vibe. And Autumn Road Trip, it used to be available in cleaning. I believe it was like in a harvest collection or something like that where they took that fragrance and, and put it in the cleaning line for the harvest collection. Um, I've picked up a couple um, through like flash sales and clearance and I loved it like it was awesome don't know why they got rid of it but it's it's really good this one's got um it says take a tour through crisp harvest apple just pick a nuji pear and forest of towering silver oak so this one I can handle because it's a Jou pear and it's not nashi pear if anyone knows me long enough and has been watching my channel I hate nashi pear I don't know what Sensi does with that type of note, but to me, it smells like rotting fermented fruit, and I just can't handle it. Casting Spells has Nashi Pear in it. Um, what else has Nashi Pear? Perfect Pumpkin Pear has Nashi Pear in it. Like, I just can't do it. Just cannot do it. But this one's done nice, so you definitely get a lot of pear. Apple's kind of more in the middle, so it's more pear forward apple and then you get a little bit of woods but like i said that woods is more of like a fresh clean refreshing like type of note so i really enjoy autumn road trip and i hope it comes back this one i was actually late to the game on and i'm kind of upset about it um toasted acorn and oak um i did not club this don't have it all i have is a tester but it's really good, you guys. Um, toasted acorn and oak. I believe it's in the woodsy category. Um, I don't hear many people talk about it much. Um, I know um, Elizabeth with Elizabeth Scenes and Sons has talked about it quite often. But it's toasted acorn, creamy chestnut, and golden oak. So how this differs between like the caramel chestnut that was in the Holiday Brick collection. This to me is more nutty. It's got more nutty nuances. It's toasty. It's oaty. It's like got all those different nuts like the acorn and the toastiness from the chestnut and the oak. It's bakery but not bakery. It plays, it's like, you know, coddling that line between bakery and woods. 
but it's really nice and it's really different. Like there's not many oak nutty scents that Scentsy does that doesn't have like a caramel or a sugar or bakery note attached to it. So this one I really enjoy. Sad I didn't club it, but maybe it will come back. Who knows? I've only seen a room spray and clearance in it, so I'm not like convinced that it's going to get the axe, but you never know. Cedar Cider. Another one that I was late to the game on. Like, I always bypass this one, and I don't know why, because it's so good. So, it is very earthy and masculine and very heavy on the cedar and the cider. Um, this one is an autumn medley of the reddest apples, cinnamon sticks, vanilla bean, nestled among fragrant white cedar branches. So... Excuse me. To me, this has like the right amount of cinnamon, the right amount of apples. The vanilla kind of blends it all together and smooths out all like the sharpness and all these notes like with the tonka. And I'm sorry, not the tonka, but the cinnamon and the apples and the cedar and all that. It's done so well. And this one's a strong one. Um, definitely open concept uh, worthy and all of that. But I mean, this is so good. In comparison to like Sipsa Cider and Cider Mill, I would choose Cedar Cider over those ones. But that's just me. Bright Cider Life. Holy crap. Okay, so if you want to know what Bright Cider Life smells like, there is a pod still in clearance for $5. You need to get it. You will not be disappointed. Bright Cider Life. Whew. It is so freaking good. So apparently it's a fruity scent, which I don't agree with whatsoever. I don't agree with them putting it in the fruity category. Don't know why. It's described as spiced harvest cider comes to life with luscious pumpkin and a slice of red apple. This is bakery. This is straight up bakery. It is like the best cooked apple and pumpkin and cinnamon like if you were making like apple cinnamon oatmeal with pumpkins and like all of that mixed in oh my god so good like I have no idea why more people don't talk about this bar or purchase this bar last catalog it is so good so so good it literally took me by surprise on how much I liked this fragrance and like I said it it's bakery. Like, if you love bakery, you're going to love Bright Cider Life because for some reason, this comes off as a bakery scent. It does not come off fruity. It does not come off woodsy. It doesn't even come off spicy. Like, there's a little bit of spice in this, but like I said, it's a bakery sweeter spice. It's so good. Like, I literally cannot be without that this fall. Like, hands down. All right, now to my wax bars that I actually have. All right, so we're going to be getting into some that haven't been around in a long time <laughs> and these ones um like I said you might not consider them fall but I do because I warm it all the time so one of the fall fragrances that I can't be without of is Midnight Fig I absolutely love Midnight Fig it's in my top 10 of all time Zendi cannot go wrong with Midnight Fig it is so freaking good um so Midnight Fig is earthy ripened figs golden berries tempered by musky woods will open your eyes and captivate your senses it's definitely very very earthy it's earthy and sultry and very very saturated in the, in the fig like you can literally smell the dirt coming off of the fig in here but it's so good like this is like deep the deepest darkest parts of the forest in the fall time with figs it's just good I love this I love the fact that we have Scentsy Club and I have this in my Scentsy Club so I'll never be without this if you're new to my channel or new to Scentsy and don't really know what Scentsy Club is it's basically a subscription status um, that Scentsy has you can basically put in a club 
or in a subscription order, anything that's consumable. So whether that's these wax bars, um, whether it's cleaning products, laundry, light bulbs, cotton cleanups, what have you, you basically can create a subscription and then you can have it come either monthly, bi-monthly or quarterly. Um, there's all kinds of different perks to having the Sensi Club. There's reduced shipping. There's 10% off if you get $30 or more. 10% um, off plus a half off item if you get $60 or more. Um, the customizable op uh, feature and you know changing up the frequency. There's reward points for every order. There's referral points if you refer something. There's so much stuff. And I have other videos that go way, way, way into detail about it. Um, but I love Scentsy Club for the fact that I can keep all my fall scents in a club, they're secure, and I know they're there when I want to warm them. And if I get sick of them, I get sick of them, and I take them out of my club. I mean, these bars typically will come back. Might take six years, but they'll come back eventually. All right, another one is Homestead Holiday. This one was a heartbreak for some people, and I do consider this my, like, Homestead fragrance for fall. Um, like I said, um, this one I typically will warm in the fall and in the winter time I will warm Christmas Cottage. So kind of see where I'm going there with that. So Homestead Holiday is blood orange, cinnamon, and fur needles. It is so, so good, you guys. I don't know why more people didn't warm this thing and buy it when it was available. Oh, it's so good. It's like one of those underrated bars that people don't you know, think about until after the fact. And they're like, oh crap, I liked that. Well, too bad, so sad. Now you're screwed. All right, apple cherry strudel. This one, I love apple cherry strudel. I'm actually pretty worried that this is not going to come back. I really think cran apple crumble or maraschino sugar cookie might kick this out of our main catalog, but I won't know for another month. This one is so good. So apple cherry strudel pull up my scent notes uh granny smith apple cherry and vanilla drizzle so it's really good it does smell like a toaster strudel like a apple cherry flavored toaster strudel the only thing about this bar that some people hate but i don't hate about it um it doesn't last long it is good while it's going it's like medium plus per, you know strength performance um but for longevity four to six hours and then this scent's this scent's dead but while it's going for those four to six hours, it's completely enjoyable. And because the scent appeal is so high, I don't care that it only lasts six hours because I can, I will warm this all the time because it's that good of a scent appeal and a scent like profile that the longevity I don't care about because it's that good and there's nothing that compares to it. Oh, buckleberry. I miss Buckleberry so much and I was an idiot and kicked it out of my club because I didn't give it a chance. I should have just let it cure, but I didn't and I took it out too quick. Um, Buckleberry, it's a bite of summer's bounty, fresh berries on top of buttery blanket of crumbly coffee cake. I do not get coffee cake and I do not get any bakery notes with this fragrance. All I get is deeply saturated dark berries. And I can't even like pinpoint like exactly like what type of berry. It's got like a tartness, so there must be cranberry in here. Um, raspberry maybe, maybe some blackberries. It's just like a medley of different tart red berries, but super, super saturated and concentrated that this is strong, so strong. I put, I think like four cubes on my upstairs level and it was enough to come downstairs and like fan out. Like this one's good. And I do like warming it with almond croissant. Um, with this one is a freshly baked croissant made even more heavenly with cinnamon sugar and an infusion of almond. Um, so this one's really good. It's very heavy on the almond um, extract, and you do get butter and the flaky um, croissant and all of that. It's super, super good, and it's a great mixer. I love warming this in the fall because, like I said, I do warm it with buckleberry, and then I also warm it with 
Breakfast in Bed, which is another fall bakery that I can't be without. <coughs> Breakfast in Bed is a warm pumpkin pastry filled with black raspberry and topped with sweet cinnamon drizzle. It's so good, you guys. Oh, it's so good. You get the pumpkin. You definitely get the black raspberry. You get a little bit of butteriness. And you definitely get cinnamon. Oh, it's so good, though. So, definitely one that I can't be without. Winterberry apple tea. Um, this one's typically, um, typically in the holiday category, but I don't warm it during Christmas time. I warm it in the fall. And winterberry apple tea. I can find it here. Hold on one second. Right there. Winterberry apple tea is winter tea cozies up to cranberry, apple, and honey. So I don't know what winterberry is supposed to, you know, winter tea is supposed to smell like. I mean, I don't get any tea in the bar, but I definitely get the cranberry and the apple, and I do get a little bit of sweetness, so that must be the honey. But it's so good. So, so good. Cannot be without that one. Rum Raisin Cookie. This is like the epitome of a ooey gooey bakery fall like bar to me. I love the rum and I love the raisin. Like that definitely reminds me of fall and like the fresh baked cookie dough, which I'm pretty sure I think I just read the description. Uh, yep. Freshly baked cookie dough spiced with rum, raisin, and clove. So you do definitely get clove. There is no cinnamon or nutmeg or anything like that. It is very, um, heavy on the clove and heavy on the rum and like that raisins in the back end with the, with the cookie dough notes. But it's super strong. Definitely great to warm in the fall. I love it. I'm glad I was able to put it in my club. Painted Leaves. I was so happy when this came back for Bring Back Your Bar. Because I've been missing this bar. This is quintessential fall to me. Um, this one. It's Cool Blue Spruce Red Maple Going Through Golden Woods. It literally smells like if you're up early, early, early in the morning in like October where the air is just bitter, icy bitter, and you're walking through the forest and the crunch of the leaves and all of that stuff. It's so good. And this kind of gives a little bit, the blue spruce kind of gives a little bit of like a menthol eucalyptus vibe. It's very like palette, like just breathe is like my eucalyptus menthol Vicks vapor scent for spring and summer. Painted leaves would be my Vicks Vapor for the fall. So, I know my scent, like, descriptions are weird, but that's how I, like, relate to it. Hemingway. This one, I was actually really surprised that I liked it. This last Bring Back Your Bar. Because um, apple scents have to be done right in order for me to like them. So, this one is done right, though. It's rich ripe apples and warm woody accents of sandalwood so oh, it's so good it's very comparable to cedar cider but this is more <coughs> appley that's not even a word it's more apple and it's a lot fresher it's a lot lighter where cedar cider is more heavy and saturated this is like a lighter more <coughs> vibrant version but this one's really good. I cannot wait to warm this this fall. Warm pumpkin drizzle. Um, this was a scent of the month. I think it was either October or November. I think it was October of 22. Yeah, October of 22. And this right now is my pumpkin bar. This right now is my pumpkin bar. Um, I'm still trying to find my pumpkin bar that I liked from way back when. I've tried like four of them that have come out like through clearance and stuff like that but it's not it and I I don't know for the life of me what the name of it was um during this most recent bring back your bar voting I voted like a crap ton of votes towards everything nice because I think that might be my pumpkin bar from way back when 
but I don't know. But for now, this warm pumpkin drizzle is my pumpkin butter. Um, warm pumpkin drizzle. It's warm cloves, cozy pumpkin, and a drizzle of sweet maple syrup. And also, what's funny is in the like scent of the month flyer that it comes with, um, it will show like top, mid, and base <laughs> notes. Some of the mid notes were actually maraschino cherries and pineapple with this bar. And it definitely, to me, smells like a pumpkin-flavored pineapple upside-down cake. And it's so good when it warms. When it warms, it's so good. Mm, I will be warming this all fall. All right, last two. Mandarin Moon. This is my spiced orange tea. This is my spiced orange tea bar. Oh, I love it so much. This to me, and I've said it before, it is um, Celestial Seasons. It's a tea brand. There is a uh, tea that they have. It's called Mandarin Orange Spice. This is exactly what that smells like. Oh, it's so good. Um, this is Spirited Cinnamon and Glowing Ginger with Sweet Orange and Star Anise. So I know a lot of people will be put off because it's got clove and ginger and the star anise and then sweet orange but i'm telling you all three of the all four of those mixed together oh you cannot go wrong and this lasts for days days and days and days and last but not least cozy chai i love cozy chai i wish this would come back oh it's so good it literally smells like a chai latte from Dunkin' donuts Mm, it's so good. Oops. And Cozy Chai is... Where's Cozy Chai? Hold on. A warm, spicy cinnamon, vanilla bean, and caramel. Oh, it's so good. Like I said, it's just a spice latte. Um, not a spice latte, a chai latte from Dunkin' Donuts. But it's good. It's basic. It's like my white girl basic bar. Cozy Chai is... But I love it, and I will literally warm it all fall along. I don't care. Oh, I lied. I have two more. Oh, my God. I lied. I have two more. <laughs> all right. Ghostly Greetings. Um, This one's grown on me, you guys. So when this first came out, no, no, no. I wasn't a consultant then. So it came out in a flash sale, grabbed it because I never heard of it. So I grabbed a bar. My mom absolutely loved it. Like, immediately, she was like, where can I find more? I was like, yeah, no, I pass. So then, after a while, like, I start to, like, I start to grow with it. Because, like, at my mom, she'd be warming it. And I'd be like, oh, what's that you're warming? It smells really good. And she goes, oh, that's ghostly grating. It's the one that you can't stand. O okay. <laughs> so then, when we got it back and bring back your bar last month, I was warming it for samples. And I'm like... This isn't that bad. Like, this isn't as bad as I thought it was. And now the more that I've warmed it, the more that I actually like it. Do I love it enough to club it? No. <laughs> but I could definitely see myself warming this in October during Halloween. Um, so, Ghostly Greetings is spooky black pumps, spiced berry, and a dash of bourbon are brewed in a cauldron ready to buck you in. So, yeah, it, it's definitely, you get the plum and you get the bourbon. But the bourbon isn't bad. So I don't like the bourbon that was in vanilla bourbon. And I don't like the bourbon that was in maple apple bourbon. But I don't mind the bourbon note that's in this one. So I don't know if it's like the plum and the bourbon do what, you know, better mix together than like vanilla and apple, but... This is not bad at all, guys. So I definitely see myself warming this during Halloween. Now my last bar. We're on the campfire. Um, I only put this in here because my daughter absolutely loves this fragrance. And because of her, I warm this in the fall. <laughs> um, do I care for it? N no, not really. But I do like mixing it with things because it does have that smoky ember note 
that can make other fragrances sort of like musky or woodsy and that type of thing. Um, so I will like mix this with like other basic apple scents or pear scents or something like that to kind of give it like a smokiness. So that is what I usually will do with this bar. Um, where's my scent description? Hold on. Right here. It's mountain air, fresh fallen wood, and smoky embers. It literally smells like a campfire. Like, it literally smells like the soot that would be at the bottom of the campfire after it's been out all night and you wake up in the morning and you smell the soot when you come out of your tent. That's what that smells like. It's not bad by any means, but to me, I wouldn't like warming it on its own because I would feel like my house was just on fire. But I warm it in the fall because of my daughter, so I had to at least allow her to have one in here. <laughs> So that's my top 25 fall faves, um, whether they're retired or typically in the fall and winter catalog. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my spin on it. Like I said, most people have been sharing this video on YouTube, going through like their actual fall stash and going through like what they have. Um, like I said, Elizabeth Scenes and Scents did her top 50. I just did not have that many to really decide. So I just did my own spin and did top 25. Um, certainly if you have a channel and you want to do your own, definitely do it. I think it's fun. I'm just going through the scents and seeing like what you would actually warm and what, you know, you would consider fall. Because what I consider fall might be different from you. Just like what I might consider winter or holiday, you might, you know, think it's fall. So vice versa. Anyways, I'm rambling now. It's late. So I'm going to end this video. Um, thank you for watching. Um, if you like this video, I appreciate it. Um, if you do like my content, always consider subscribing. And then if you already are a subscriber, please make sure you hit your notifications bell so that way you never miss out on a new video that I post. So until next time, guys, see ya and have a good day.